Okay, well this afternoon's little task is changing the brake pads on the front of a 2005 Honda Jazz 1.2. Um, nothing really much to say apart from you need a 12mm spanner or socket for the bolts that go in there because the caliper sits on there, it's called the floating caliper if you notice inside it, it's only got a piston on one side so it relies on that floating mechanism to apply the brakes on both sides of the disc now those are the new pads i put in the old ones aren't that um, bad a shape um, you notice the difference that one there goes in the back with this rather nice sexy piece of metal up at the top you'll see here that there's spring steel top and bottom and left and right and you'll have to gently push the pads in to engage in there don't force it make sure you don't bend back any of those tabs anyway assuming you've got the uh, new pads in place the issue is then the old pads having worn the piston in the caliper will have actually uh, come out now to get that back in first thing is to unfasten as you can see there in the middle unfasten the top of the master cylinder now as you've topped the brake fluid up while the pads have been wearing you might want to be prepared for some brake fluid coming out the top there and it's nasty stuff it takes paint off so plenty of rags around there anyway back to the important bit you've got to push the piston back into the caliper now luckily enough there's a dust seal all the way around this piston you can just see the alloy bit there shiny steel bit and I discovered that a B&Q clamp works very well at pushing the piston calipers back in they're soft faces top and bottom and also you can place it precisely so that you get the force of the force central it has to be central otherwise there's a risk that what you're going to do is push that piston in sideways and cause all manner of shit grief anyway i think that's probably it for the uh for the fronts and um, just make sure when you put the wheels back on you haven't knocked any of the balance weights off the uh the wheel and make sure that everything's tight as it should be tight and uh take it easy